Rico, guess what? Tonight, our Animal Investigations Unit is talking animals and food, and we've got breaking news. The global Meatless Monday trend has hit California schools. Now, every Monday, more than 600,000 Los Angeles public school kids are getting vegetarian meals in their school cafeterias. That means kids are learning how to eat healthy, balanced meals filled with vegetables and fruit, which are lower in calories and fat. Full disclosure, I'm a vegan. That means I don't eat meat or dairy. Instead, I eat uh, vegetables, fruits, nuts, and grains. A big reason is because of my health. I want to stay healthy. And also because I've always struggled with my weight. And eating this way helps a lot. Oh, we all know obesity has skyrocketed. Today, more than one-third of America's children and adolescents are overweight or obese. There's growing scientific evidence that a diet rich in vegetables and fruits can reduce the risk of obesity. Rico, this is really good news also for millions of animals like these highly intelligent pigs that Travis Alexander cared about. And it was in a blog of uh, pigs who were kept in gestation crates, unable to even turn around. Did you know that 9 billion animals that are very much like dogs, we're talking about pigs and cows and lambs and chickens, are raised and killed for food in factory farms every year? in this country. Straight out to Paul Shapiro from the Humane Society of the United States. Paul, what starts in Los Angeles often spreads to the rest of the country. LA schools serve 650,000 meals every day. One meatless Monday can save thousands of animals and lower kids' cholesterol and calorie intake. Also helps the environment. After decades of increasing meat consumption, do you think things are finally changing? And if so, why? Absolutely, Jane. Americans are eating less and less meat, and that's better for us it's better for the planet, and as you know, it's certainly better for animals. Simply by eating more plants and by eating fewer animals, each one of us can take a stand in favor of a healthier, more humane world every time we sit down to eat. And that's why the Humane Society of the U.S. is applauding the L.A. school system for implementing its forward-thinking Meatless Monday program. Well, a new study by the European Perspective Investigation into Cancer and Nutrition found people who eat five and a half or more Five and a half ounces or more of processed meats daily are 44% more likely to die of causes like cancer and heart disease. Another new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found a Mediterranean diet, which is full of fruits and vegetables and high in healthy fats like olive oil and nuts can reduce the incidence of major cardiovascular problems. In fact, they had to end the study early because the results in favor of a plant-based diet were so overwhelming the scientists decided it was unethical to continue on the alternate test group. What does that tell you, Paul? Jane, it tells me that eating meatless meals is certainly better for us, but also one of the reasons Meatless Monday is perhaps the most popular global food movement is because animal agriculture is a leading cause of global climate change. And so if we want to do better for a warming world and we want to do better for our widening waste, eating more delicious, healthy vegetarian foods is definitely one way to go about doing it. Really, Meatless Mondays, it's a win-win for everybody, for the planet, for our health, and of course, for animals. And like I said, we've been talking about Travis Alexander, the victim here who can no longer speak on behalf of the animals, but he loved dogs, he had a little dog, and he also cared. A friend wrote in a blog about farm animals. Uh, that's a growing movement, isn't it, Paul, briefly? Indeed, more and more people are concerned about our barbaric treatment of animals on factory farms and in slaughter plants. And because of that, they're looking to campaigns like Meatless Mondays to make a difference. Thank you, Paul Shapiro. We can do it together.